All right, guys, so here we are. We've got our oil pump and our distributor. Um, what we're gonna do, the first thing you should do is actually test fit these things. Now, this is a gear-driven engine. This is gonna be the same process uh, with regardless of engine, but make sure your distributor fits into your new oil pump. Sometimes the distributor slot or the, the tooth is a little bit oversized or something like that. It's supposed to be a tight fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our distributor and mesh it into the oil pump just to see if it'll seat. So as you can see, it's really hard. You don't want to go ahead and install something without having make to make sure make sure that you know it's gonna operate properly because you'll put this on, you'll try to slip it in, it doesn't fit. I get this call all the time. So here we are on ours. This is the really nice distributor, the ID4008. Uh, this is the replacement one. And this is our uh, gear driven oil pump. Raise, raise it up. This is our gear driven oil pump. So the two aren't meshing right now. So I'll show you how to fix that. It's common. It's part of the part of the game here. All right. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a fine file, a flat file. And what we'll do is we're going to just kind of uh, take off a little bit of the material on the sides. And I'm going to see if I can get this clear a little bit. We're going to take off a little bit of the sides here and then as well as kind of clean up some of the bur burrs on the edges. So we're gonna just do that right now, and then we're gonna try it again in the oil pump. And also remember, this is an offset tooth, so it's only gonna fit in there one way. Um, so if you've got it backwards, uh, turn the shaft 180 degrees, and then now the tooth, the tooth, the offset tooth, is going to line up with the fuel, with the oil pump, sorry. So uh, here we go, we've got a mesh now. In the first part, we did not have it meshed. We took a little bit off with a fine file and now it meshes. So now we can go ahead with our installation. So I hope that helps test things first before you go to install. It'll save headaches later. Thanks for watching guys.